Corner and you add popularity. What are some of your favorite moments from the creation of the album? Is there a point in the creative process that you find to be the most difficult? What emotions do you wish to evoke from your fans when they hear your music? Uh, you know, for me, I, I, you know, for me, music is a relief, so I hope everybody else is getting a relief, whether it be, you know, feeling happy about something or feeling inspired, feeling hopeful. You, you know, there's even those songs that are going to make you cry and they're going to make you reflect and stop and think. And, but, you know, in the end, when you stop and think or you think and reflect and you release those emotions, and in the end, you you wind up uh, feeling inspired and hopeful from it. So it's, I, I hope you're feeling that full journey, that full circle, that journey, because uh, that's what it is for me when I create the album, when I sing live at the shows. Uh, you know, it's, and for me, it's always been that therapy, so I hope it's kind of the same for everybody else. Is there something that you never thought that you'd be able to pull off on the album but did? When you went into the creation process for the album, do you have a vision or did you more or less just let the pieces fall where they may? What would you say were the main challenges that you felt approaching the album? What artistic growth do you feel you experienced during the creation of the album? Well, for me, oh, you know, it's constant. In everything I do, it's constant. The artistic growth, uh, yeah, vocally, you know, because when I went in on some of the songs, like the song After I'm Gone, um, trying different things out, uh, being able to do more of the harmonies this summer. I did a lot of the harmonies on this new album. That was huge for me. It was so fun, you know, I was able to grow and try different things that I've always wanted to try and it, uh, it definitely boosted my confidence as far as, you know, 
know, speaking up more about my ideas, um, it was, that was a real treat for me. Uh, and being able to co-produce this album, you know, again, just it is just giving me confidence to start speaking up more and to not be afraid to follow my instincts or my gut or, you know, and uh, so that's a lot of growth as, as a singer, as a producer, and as a writer, and uh, just all around. Do you find that music just kind of happens? Um, yeah, definitely. But, you know, these days anymore, there's a lot of people who can, you know, sit down and set appoint writing appointments and just knock a song out one after the other. And each one is radio friendly. And each one will, you know, make your heart feel a million different things. And, and uh, so, you know, I think music can just happen. But at the same time, there's so much inspiration around us every day. It's, you know, uh, you know, we can we can also uh, make it happen. <laughs> what expectations do you set for yourself when you're creating music? Is there a point where maybe expectations are too high? Uh, yeah, sometimes, definitely, especially when I'm sitting down to write. You know, I'm, you know, I'll stop and ask myself, is that cliche as I've been said before, or you know, is this kind of simple panic comparison to what you've written? You know, <laughs> um, you know, we can always be our own worst enemy. And um, so, yeah, definitely. But I, I just try to try to let the music, uh, you know, for me anyways, when it comes to writing, if it doesn't come quickly and naturally, then I just try to step away from it and come back to it later. Uh, you know, I try not to let anything be too forced. How do you know when a song is going to be good? Uh, you know, for me, when I can't get it out of my head and, and when, I, when I don't want to leave it alone, you know, I want to sing it all the time and... And, um, you know, and when everybody around me uh, notices it, says something about it, you know, I, I try to share my music as I'm writing it, when, especially when it's new. I try to play it for different people in my life who have very different t- tastes in music from each other. And, you know, they'll give me their perspective. And when they all love it, that's when I know I got something special. At this point, what do you fear most? Uh, time, not having enough time. Uh, you know, a time with... My family, my kids, my parents, my family back home in Canada, um, you know, because I live down in Nashville, and I live on the road, and uh, for definitely just time, slipping away, there's actually a song on the album called Slipping Away, and, you know, that's what it's about, it's just, you know, I, at time, I just wish I had more of it. <laughs> what do you feel has been your biggest challenge as an artist, and can you talk a bit about how you overcame that challenge? as an artist was, uh, hmm, you know, you find those challenges in every aspect of this business, you know, I had to overcome, you know, at one point when I was younger, I had to overcome shyness, you know, and uh, at one point in my career, I had to overcome, uh, you know, somebody actually telling me that Native Americans, you know, at that time, which was about 10 years ago, at that time, they were saying, I didn't, I didn't they didn't know if, Native American First Nations artists, you know, artists could really exist within country music successfully and commercially, and um, and so I had to overcome that, you know, to to get my confidence up enough to um, overcome what somebody's opinion was, and um, that was probably one of the biggest challenges. Um, other than that, you know, there's challenges every day, but uh, you know, no different than other people in their everyday lives. Creating music is like organizing an accident. What do you think about that statement? <laughs> I like that. That, that, that really, uh, it makes sense, you know, because you, you don't really know how it's going to end up, but yet you're trying to orchestrate it, you know, and, and I can really relate to that, especially when you're writing with other writers, uh, songwriters, uh, you know, it's, you, you can't control where it's going to go. Sometimes you really want to tend in one direction, but... In the end, somebody else comes up with an idea that's just better for the song. It may not be what you want, but you have to get in and realize it's better for the song. So the song ends up in a totally different place than where you kind of wanted it to go or where you started it from. Uh, so I, I, can, I totally love that statement. I think it's perfect. How does your mindset differ when you're, say, writing a song by yourself versus going in to write a song with someone else? somebody else I have to go in open minded and open hearted and I have to remember that it's, it's about the song you know and, and uh, there's, I've had that situation several times where I wanted it to be one thing but 
when I really sat back and thought about it, it was like, no, you know what? Their, their idea is better. It, it just it makes sense for this song, you know. And uh, so that's that's the that's basically the only difference. Other than that, I just always try to come inspired. And any final thoughts? Anything that you'd like to say to the readers of Popularity? Um, no, just to uh, check out my music. Uh, even if you don't like country music, give it a chance. Uh, you know, I, I have influences from all over. Check out my website, crystalshawanda.ca. 